Major differences remain within the European Union over how to handle the refugee crisis, triggered in part by the fighting in Syria. EU interior ministers have urged Greece to do more to control the influx. Some have threatened to have it excluded from the continent's passport-free travel zone as the crisis increasingly divides bloc members. Guy Henderson has more. Europe's politicians appear to be really scrambling to find a solution as it appears as though, and you get a sense that this refugee and migrant crisis may now be entering a, a pretty critical phase for Europe. Uh, after a meeting of uh, European Union interior ministers in Amsterdam, uh, Austria, Germany, Sweden, the three countries that have taken in uh, the vast majority of migrants and refugees through 2015, rounded on Greece and demanded that they step up efforts to secure that external border with Turkey or face a temporary uh, sus uh, exclusion from the Schengen free movement zone. Uh, also signs of potential divisions and deepening divisions within Germany after a senior uh, politician within the ruling Christian Democratic Union presented a proposal uh, which included um, a, in, the introduction of a uh, flexible daily limit on the number of people allowed to cross the border depending on whether Germany could cope. Now for some that looks quite similar to the very migrant cap that other countries in Europe have been heavily criticised by Germany um, for bringing in or, th or threatening uh, to introduce. Now um, the coalition partner of the CDU, the uh, Christian Social Union, has jumped on that in the middle of a regional election campaign to suggest that the ruling party is in a state of, quote, chaos uh, as it f uh, infights to try and work out a, a coherent policy. Uh, the CDU, though, claims that this is merely an extension of a number of wider proposals to deal at a national level with the, uh, with the refugee crisis that are due to be approved by the German cabinet later this week. Guy Henderson, CCTV, Berlin.